Hello. It's um it's a Saturday. Welcome everyone. I turn off. Oops, I accidentally clicked something. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're starting. I I was I was gonna go on the menu. I guess we're starting immediately. I did not mean to start the game immediately. My forest news. Okay, anyway, uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome Robumu, welcome Cole, welcome Stream Elements, welcome Just Cerebro. I wish they would have given me some time, you know, on the title screen. But I guess we're just starting. Uh, so we're playing Lumbear Jack. This is a game that was on sale, and I was like, that's cool that it's on sale. And then... Why is the cam- why is the camera spinning? Is this supposed to be doing this? I- oh shoot. I don't think it's supposed to be doing this. Hold on, I'm using my controller and I think... The mouse movement that I'm using to... Control OBS is causing the- the game to spin. Okay, let me... <laughs> change that. Let me have that not happen. Let me disconnect my mouse and keyboard, okay? Okay, but now it keeps moving. Okay, now it's- now it's drifting, okay. Hold on. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's pretty cool. Also, welcome, Cyanie. Okay. Um. Hold on. Maybe I have to quit the game. Main menu. Oh, look at that. Okay. Options. Language. Music. Sound. Vibration. Shake screen. Invert access. Quality very high, full screen on for real. Um, that seems pretty good. That seems good to me. There's no VSync options. Typically, typically wait for there to be VSync options. Okay, we're continuing. Oh look, it starts us off right at the beginning. Okay, we've seen this. We've seen this cutscene. We can't skip. Oh, we can't skip. There we go. Wait, the camera just does this. It just. It can't be constantly spinning. I don't believe this. I think something's wrong here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me exit the game. Can I... can I start the game? Oh, my mouse is drifting, actually. I think... something Something's happening here. My mouse... Do I have to disconnect my controller? Hold on. I'm disconnected. <laughs> okay, my controller is now disconnected. I'm going to switch to this game. I'm going to disconnect the mouse. I'm going to connect the controller. And the... it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Oh no! There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, skip, skip. Alright, that's better. Okay, technical difficulties, you know how it is. 2023, new year, new game. We are a bear in a low-poly environment. That is exactly what I want from a video game. Apparently this game is about um, an hour and a half long, which I think is perfect because given... My ability at video games, I imagine it'll take us the full two and a half hours. I guess we'll see. Got some very Animal Crossing looking fish right here. Look at how big these fish are. This fish is about the size of the bear even. Got some barrels. Got some, some lumber in here. What is this? There's another bear. Can I talk to the bear, please? We cannot. We cannot talk to bear. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that way is the right way to go. Okay, it probably is. That's the only way to go. So I guess we gotta, we gotta go this way. Okay, so the lore, I guess... The bear lives right next to a landfill. <laughs> And maybe the point of the game is to fix the environment, to clean up the garbage, maybe. 
Is this the fishing simulator side story? I mean, if fishing simulator was more low poly, then maybe. I think this is different. You got boxes here. There's no pollution in the lake. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I guess maybe that is the point of the game. I think we are just cleaning up the environment. That's the whole game. I think there is a story though. From what I've seen of the trailer, there's like boss battles. A lot of, a lot of wild stuff going on in this game. You will find out. Must be a prequel? Maybe. Maybe the bear that we see in the VR fishing is the same bear, but after it's restored the environment. As you know, once you restore the environment, uh, they add more polygons. And so this is low poly, but the other one got many polygons. So we're just chilling. I think I should raise the volume of the Elgato audio. There we go. That's slightly better. Is there no shadows except yours? Yes. No, this shadow's here. Look at these shadows. The mountains have shadows. So welcome, Lake it. I feel like the, the attack animation has a lot of, like, end lag, you know? It takes a while to be able to move afterwards. Oh, we fixed everything. Yeah, everything is fixed. We're the bear with the fishing hat, Ash Ketchum hat. Is that a dog? There's a bear. There's another. That's a dog, probably. What's happening? The journey begins. What is that? There's a picture of a man. This guy says to use an axe. What does this mean? Wait, is it- this is just the- no, this- I've done this. This is just the tutorial. <laughs> can I skip? Can I do this? Okay, there- these are mission-based. Okay, second mission. There's a fox. There's a large bulldozer. The fox returns to its den. And den what? Evil. I like how the corporation is just called evil. Wow. Um, the squirrel. I think it's a fox. It looks like a fox to me. Squirrels aren't that red. Someone's working in here. I can't destroy this house. It's very subtle. That's what you gotta learn. Indie games, you have to make things subtle or else the audience will they'll be like, this is too on the nose. You got an achievement called Ouch. I'm patting the man. Yo, can you pat the man in this game? You can. Game in which you can pat the man. Environmentalism in Avatar. Yeah, Avatar 2 came out recently, right? Anyone here watch Avatar 2? I have not watched Avatar 1 or 2. Welcome, Hamplo. Is that Thor's hammer? Is it? I would like to pick up Thor's hammer. Nope. I cannot pick up that hammer. The thing about Avatar is that I don't really know anything about the movie, and yet it makes like a billion dollars. What's up with that? Is it just like, it's really pretty 3D graphics and everyone's like, whoa, it's so cool. But I don't know anything that's happening. Also, welcome chicken coop. Refusing out of principle, Avatar. No one's watching. It's like, the, it's like Morbius. Visuals, visuals were gorgeous, but story was meh. Villain is enjoyable. Ooh, we got the big axe. Holy frick, look at this huge axe. Strength user. Dark Souls. Big axe, strength using guy. This is the first huge movie to do 3D. Like a new 3D. That makes sense. 
sometimes it's not about being the best, but it's about being the first. Gray glasses. They have special glasses for that movie. I've actually never watched a, uh, a 3D movie. Like, in, in that sense. Never one where I had to wear special glasses for it. Avatar is innovative graphics animation, so it gets butts in seat. Story plan. I heard it was like Pocahontas. Okay, I guess this is a squirrel. You're right. This <laughs> this does look like a squirrel. Oh, those those glasses. I think I know what you mean. Are those the the polarized lenses? I actually had a class in uh, in college where they taught us about that. They gave us polarized filters. It was really cool. Theater movies, Avatar 1 is not as impressive rewatching at home. I guess that explains it. I don't know, I don't think I'll ever see it. Doesn't seem like a movie that I would see or enjoy. It's like one of those where you had to be there. You had to be there in person, otherwise there's no point. I'm doing the same one. Did not mean to do the same quest. I right, let me go back. Let's go to the next mission. What are these? <laughs> what the heck is this? Warthogs? The three little pigs, maybe? What are those? Anyway, this game is very minimal. Doesn't seem to have a lot of text. You're, you're out here figuring things out on your own. It will not tell you what to do. There's no tutorial. You're just out here as a bear with an axe. Destroying everything. Hey, look at that. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Not every movie can be Morbius. Not with that attitude. Imagine they made a Morbius too, though. Look, there's a man. There's a man sitting here doing yoga. I guess he's just he's just sitting. I mean, machine, you can't destroy this machine. It's too powerful. You have to go around. What about this? That's right. Fix the environment. Go up here. If Morbius is so good, how come there's no Morbius 2? You don't know, they're making it. They're probably making it. There's no way that they're not even considering it. Every time anyone hears the word Morb, everyone gets excited. They're like, whoa, this is the Morbinist movie of all time. How can they Morb so much? Apparently, Avatar 3, there'll be fire people. Trending toward Airbender. Yeah. That's how they do it. That's how they popularize things. Wait, am I stuck? No, I'm not. Get the big... Hey, what are we doing? Is crafting in this game? We're crafting the big X. Anyway, there was that, that uh, Avatar The Last Airbender live action, which did like very poorly. Anyone out here watch that one? I never even watched Airbender, like, the anime. And so I had no intention of watching you know, the, the live action. I'm surprised how badly it did. I'm destroying a house. Nothing can top Tony- <laughs> Tony! Sony releasing Morbius in theaters because they thought the meme was real. I remember that. That's funny. People prank them and they're like, well, oh man, people are they're all into the morbs. But not anymore. They lost so much money. It's not an anime. We had this discussion. I think it counts as anime. It doesn't have to be Japanese anime. I guess I could say anime style. That's, that's a valid interpretation. 
Oh, I guess I, I guess I, there's like objectives to do, and I missed like a bunch of them. I don't really understand. What I'm doing. Who's this? Oh, you can. As <laughs> there's Canadian. You got the the hockey. Maybe is this hockey? I don't know. Let's be this guy. We got a sad man over here. I slapped the man. I wish I could zoom in though. I can't tell what it, what, what I was doing. Okay, we're going through this one. this mission. New mission. There's no live action Atla. Is that the fish? The fish with the pollution? Oh no, look at all this pollution, guys. You got the nerd fish with the glasses. Get that nerd fish. Who's this? What is- I, I wish I could zoom in, because I don't know what this is. Is that a pig? Is that a- is that a deer? Oh, you can zoom in. That's a frog. <laughs> That's a red frog. Oh, man, look at that frog. Literally me frog. I feel like this game is pretty good for Zatudan, right? There's not that much stuff going on. You're just chilling, destroying stuff. We can talk about Avatar, of which I have very little context for. Look at all these frogs. Got frogs in the lake. You got Yoshi eggs up here. Look at that Yoshi egg. You're destroying sludge machines. Destroying the electricity. There's a frog in that electrical thing. We're destroying this house. We got another frog in there. We can craft. Crafting the big axe. Look at that. It's different. It's different because we're using a different skin. If you ever see a bear in the wild wearing a in something like this, I think you should be afraid. Because it's huge. Let me save the Yoshi eggs. Okay, there's a man or a woman. What is what is it? <laughs> pet the pet the human. What are they doing? They're crafting? Oh, they're planting. What are they planting? Destroying the water cooler. Destroying the building. We're destroying every building. Cheer up the man. Slap the man. Now he's going on vacation. With the surfboard. Pat the man. Pat this man. Destroy the garbage dump. Seeing a bear in the wild, you should be afraid. Probably. What's what's the best? Ooh, there's a bear trap. What's the best course of action when you see a bear? Is it to like shout really loudly? I know some people say when you see a bear, you shouldn't like play dead because it'll just make the bear curious. It might be it might be dangerous. You're supposed to yell really loudly to startle it and get it to run away. Any bear experts in chat? We got the fish. No! Why would you do this? Bear? You can't do this. Okay, they're fine. They enjoy it. Everyone out here have- Ooh, I did all the objectives! But I did not save the Yoshi eggs, maybe? The bear a hug. I feel like that's dangerous. I feel like you shouldn't do that. Would not recommend. Okay, new area. New area. This this uh this thing is destroying the owl. The owl home. Look at how evil they are. For brown <laughs> brown bears, you can play dead, but not black bears. There's got to be like some sort of universal technique that you can apply to all bears. Oop. Destroy the electricity. Black 
bears are also generally wimps. I wonder why that is. Is it because they've been like... Yeah, like a scarring event? Bears are just like, oh no. They're generally afraid. They're much more likely to run away than attack. I guess sometimes, sometimes animals are just built different. There's no reason why. That's just how they are. That's just their nature. Blackberry. I understand what you did there. Hold on, I need to, I need to get the big axe. Wait, that's it? Is this a puzzle? I can't leave that way. And yet when I try to go here, I can't craft. I'm still not sure what the criteria is for like when I can use this crafting station. Am I just am I destroying this thing? Oh, that's what I'm doing. Bears like to eat berries. Berries. Yeah, it's e the ease of the berries. It's so easy for them to eat the berries. Oh, I see. You gather enough, um, like garbage or whatever. And then you can use the garbage to craft. I guess that makes sense. Now, now we can destroy the, the big thing. There are optional objectives, and I think I, I would like to do the optional objectives. No? Okay. Also, for some reason, it feels like the uh, the camera controls are inverted. I normally see like controls are inverted when you flip, like when you go up and down the camera, but never left and right. If I move left, the camera moves. Actually, no, maybe not. I don't know. I always get confused. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work the way I would expect it to. Cycling game. Man's garbage. Look at all this garbage. There's so much garbage. Destroying this. Can I destroy this thing? I have destroyed this thing. There's a wheel over here. I've destroyed the wheel. Cannot destroy this. Ooh, can I make a new thing? You can make an even bigger axe. Holy frick. Look at this huge axe. Hugh Jackman. Huge axe man. A goat? We got the goat up here. Let's go to oh look at that. That's right, the message of this game, humans are evil. There's no redemption, everyone is bad. Protect society, destroy this guy. The rich man. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. This goat. It's going. Everyone. Anyone here ever been hang gliding? Is that what this is called? Hang gliding. I don't know if I would ever do it. It seems. Seems dangerous. I, mean, I guess a lot of things are dangerous, but especially that, like bungee jumping, skydiving. Anyone here? You guys ever do it? Would you ever skydive slash bungee jump? Slash paraglide. Like, what if you deploy your parachute and then it doesn't work? You would just be, you'd just be dead. You'd be hecked up. Are we all bad as humans. We must return to monkey to cleanse ourselves. Aren't we already monkeys, though? Monkey D's, monkey D Luffy. Is that a rat? Holy frick! It's a rat. 
at Jim. Destroy the evil sign. He's out here in the dumps. We got cat jam, rat. Look at this rat. We got the rat. The rat with the cheese. Do rats inherently enjoy cheese? It's like in cartoons. Rats are always depicted with cheese. But like, do they have a preference for cheese over other stuff? Or is it just like convenient for a cartoon to do? It's like how cats are often depicted in cartoons drinking milk. And yet people say, like in real life, a lot of cats don't even... You shouldn't feed a cat milk. They're like, peanut butter better than cheese? Yeah, I guess, I guess the thing is probably that cheese is a more, like, universally understood symbol. Right, if you were to draw peanut butter, it'd be harder to discern in cartoons. Now we have, like, an actual puzzle. I actually have to think for this. Or not. <laughs> Am I not doing it right? Here, we'll craft. Anything with high fat content? Rats are scarce in the wild, so we want to eat them. We? What do you mean by we? I guess animals in general? That makes sense. It's just destroying a lock. A jar with a peanut drawn on? Yeah, but it's not like. You know, it's not as universally understood. And also, how is the rat going to open the peanut butter jar, right? There's no way. In a cartoon, you think a rat could open a peanut butter jar? I don't think so. Welcome, Mirkern. Tiny rat paws. How are they so small? Yeah, take world knowledge from Tom and Jerry. Oh yeah, do you guys see that uh, Tom and Jerry is an anime now? They have an anime version. They're like, they're like really small and cute. I watched like two and a half minutes of it on uh, on YouTube. Someone re-uploaded one of the shorts. And everyone was like, Yo, this captures the spirit of Tom and Jerry exactly as I remember it, except slightly less violent and cute. Yeah, they're anime. Check it. Look up Tom and Jerry anime. It looks like like a Sanrio thing. It's got like pastel colors in the background and everything. I don't know. I wouldn't watch it though because I don't even watch anime. What do I do? Rotate the thing. Oh wait, I see, I see. I'm supposed to get the uh, the trash. Yeah, that. I can get this trash and then I drop it. Drop it on this thing. Freed the bird. Does it have iconic Tom screams? It doesn't. I think they're just like generic, cute sounding, like animal sounds. Not even animal sounds. It's like it's like. People. People saying things. Like a child. A child making sound. It's a bit strange. I don't know, but apparently it captures the spirit of the original pretty well. Like apparently they've had- they've been making newer versions of Tom and Jerry, but like... You know, like you know how like all the recent animation styles have moved away from like hand-drawn, like frame-by-frame -frame animation? And they've done, like, they've they've done a lot of this, like, what, I don't even know what it's called, like, rigging style animation, like Family Guy, <laughs> where they just have, like, pre-made stuff. Uh, a lot of people that I saw in the comments were like, oh man, they, they really captured the spirit of the original Tom and Jerry. Not like this new stuff. This new stuff is uh, awful stuff. They, they should never have done this. But I didn't even know they were still making Tom and Jerry. Apparently they're short for Cartoon Network Japan. Yeah. That's it. That's what it was. 
William H Hannah of Hannah and Barbera. Hannah Barbara. William Hannah. John Hannah. Yeah, there's a human here. We're destroying the human. We are simply destroying everything that matters. Oop. That's pretty cool. Look at this. We've restored the environment. What the heck is this? I'm not sure what that was. Something here is still not recovered. And they got to the real anime. It's like extremely pastel. Like uh, my first instinct on seeing it is like there's no way that this would be like anywhere near. Like the original Tom and Jerry was so violent. How can they be so violent? It's a rat, mouse. Got the apple. I don't think I completed all the quests for this one. A bear out here splitting an apple. Oh, I didn't find the bear trap. Oh, shoot. I failed. I failed to do it. Yeah, there is Powerpuff Girls. That was a long time ago, though. The cartoons were indeed very violent and also very racist. Remember, remember racism? That was a thing back in the day. It, it doesn't exist anymore. But back in the day, there was so much racism in cartoons. As a joke, by the way, racism definitely still does exist. Nope, I did not mean to pause. Okay, we're out here destroying evil corporation. Who's David Agueta? Oh, there's the bear trap. Also, welcome, Parlin. Good for him. He did all he could do. To stop racism. Anyway, I got recommended. Speaking of Tom and Jerry, I got recommended. Um, remember that show, uh, Speedy Gonzalez? It was like a like a Mexican mouse. And some people were like, it's kind of racist, don't you think? But then I saw like a, uh, a recommendation of like one of the old cartoons that had Speedy Gonzalez. And he had like a cousin or someone named something, something the slow, whatever. Uh, it was just like a, a rat who was like really lazy and had a gun. Slowpoke? Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever that one was. And then I saw the comments and it was like, People were like, yo, I, I love this. I, I was Mexican. Sorry, I am Mexican. And uh, when I was a kid, I loved seeing representation, even though he was depicted as a lazy guy. Stuff like that. Hamplo remembers. Yeah, he remembers literally him for real, for real. I think it's funny. His gimmick is that he was a mouse that had a gun. He was slow, but he had the gun. His fursona. No, if he had a fursona, it would be like a, uh, a pig. Because, you know, ham. Pig, probably. I would imagine. Sorry, what am I doing? Oh, crafting. I have to craft. Here we go. We've crafted a larger axe. Now we can destroy a thing. We've destroyed this thing, a rat Sona. Whoa, you can you tell me you can destroy this thing with the one hit. Remember Porky Pig? Is that guy still around? Is he still doing things? Sylvester and Tweety. I'm just naming things now. <laughs> Oh, you guys remember remember this thing? Whoa, I remember. Remember this old cartoon? Remember that old cartoon? Remember Mickey Mouse? Is that guy still around? Obviously he is. Okay, 
collect all the junk. What the heck? Oh, I have I have enough to make the large axe now. Yeah, I know, I know they're all around. It was a joke. Sometimes I make references to things. As if they're not around anymore. Oh look, we got chickens. Yo, chicken coop enjoy. This is for you. This is for you specifically. Here are the chickens. They're not in the chicken coop, but they're around. They're enjoying. They're enjoying being fed. I think you're overfeeding. You gotta stop. This is too much. That, dude, this is too much. You gotta stop. Okay, I guess they just, <laughs> they're just gonna feed them infinitely. Yeah, the micro niche demographic. I will remember when he had the chicken coop and he enjoyed it. Yeah, we have not found everything yet. Still more stuff. What was that achievement? Tuck? Is that, that said Tuck. My favorite Looney Tunes show was Duck Dodgers. I don't remember that at all. Was that... which one was that? Was that the guy with the hat? Was that, um, Daffy Duck's alter ego? Yo, look at the chicken. This chicken is- wow, they got, a, they got a chick. That's cool. Daffy Duck was a space guy. I remember Marvin the Martian. What's up with that guy? Just a guy in space. Just out there chilling. The atmosphere. A mole with the a mole with the bomb. <laughs> oh, we're golfing. Is this eco terrorism? <laughs> they want us. To, the moles literally they invented a bomb and they're using this to destroy the okay this this feels a bit I don't know about this one. Maybe it's fine. It's cartoon. They're cartoon bombs. It's fine. You never see bombs like this in real life, right? Probably, I assume. I don't know. I actually don't know. It's never like just like a, a round thing with a fuse on it. It's always like a stick of dynamite. Marvin was the antagonist in Duck Dodgers. What? Okay, I see. Maybe that's it. I guess that makes sense. They were in space. Remember people being crazy over a Martian Queen? I don't remember. I don't remember any of this stuff. What if I put the bomb in the lake? Do you think the fish will blow up? Oh, Becco, thank you for the raid. Let me do the shout out. You were playing, you were streaming just chatting. I knew it. He does do that chatting sometimes. What was the backlog like? Uh, welcome Inspector Chairleg. Welcome Absurdist Scribbler. Uh, Crazy Seth. Disaster Mirror. Uh, Shadow. Yeah, everyone out here is raiding. Welcome, welcome raiders. We're playing a game where we're a bear and we're talking about Looney Tunes for some reason. Do a shout out. Let me do the other shout out. Oh right, yeah, yeah, the uh karaoke. I tuned in for part of it. And then I and then I started my stream. Pilk and Seabat. Yeah, any any Seabat enjoyers in chat? Yeah, got this one. I got that Seabat. Anyway, we were talking about bombs. Anyone out here have a favorite style of bomb? You're talking about how like you have bombs that look like this, but uh, you know this only you only see this in cartoons. Also, welcome to you. They don't make them like this in real life, as far as I'm aware. I mean, they might. But we don't we don't know. In this game, we're a bear saving the environment. That's pretty cool. Working in both both of these chats. Can she do it? 
Anyway, I hope the stream was good. I think you were fundraising for something, right? I don't remember exactly. But I think I saw in the title there was something. Just, uh, this game, you slap some humans. And then get an, uh, get an achievement for it. Prefer my bomb shaped like missiles. The extra speed and accuracy. It was like dynamite bombs. You got the round bombs with the fuse on it. Ah, okay. Let's see. Computer, yeah, computer parts are expensive. How do they make them so expensive? Thousands of dollars. Cannon style bombs. Wait, do they use do they use these types of bombs like in actual cannon? Is that what a cannonball is? They don't have fuses, right? They're just like big circular things that crash into things. This bear looks similar to the bear and breakfast bear. Yeah, I love the I love the low poly bears, right? It's got a nice aesthetic. What, do, what is this over here? Oh, we got the got the bear trap. Cannonballs or just heavy balls? That's what I think. That's what I think as well. There are cannons where you light the wick. Like John Wick. Let's go, let's go over here. My favorite bomb is Django Boba Fett a seismic charge. I've never I've never really watched Star Wars, so I don't I don't really know. <laughs> that sounds cool. You have to make the bombs differently in space though. With a bunch of gunpowder to push the cannonball forward. Yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Cannonballs, they're not really meant to explode. They're just meant to like, you know, when they when they crash into something, just have a really heavy object. Like how, like how in uh, Indiana Jones. It's just like a large, a large rock rolling at you. What's that? What is this? We failed to destroy this thing. Oh, I think I have to guide the bomb along the rail. Or it's not a rail, whatever the, the path. Oh no, we got it. That's it, we're good. We're good. Look at that. This is just an advanced form of golf. Whoop. You have to hit, I have to hit it and then hit it back. Oh, okay. Oh, I was just supposed to get it past that thing. Trees don't do this in real life. You can't expect a tree to be moving this rapidly. Got the mole with the scissors. Where's the mole doing? Just a target? What is that? Is that trampoline? That's a trampoline? Kind of dangerous. That was pretty cool, though. Look at that. We did everything. We we completed all the objectives. And we can go through, go to the next level. At the house, they're building a house. Yeah. If you learn anything from this game, is that uh, the moles will help you create bombs. If you ever need help destroying. Uh, an evil corporation. Just uh, just ask for the moles. They'll provide the, the bombs needed. It's possible that we're the bad guys, right? What if we were the villain the whole time? It's a pretty common trope in video games. Sometimes you're the bad guy. Classic Billy I <laughs> Billy Eyelash song. I'm the bad guy. Anyway, Raiders, feel free to go do something else. If you got other stuff to do, you know. You can, work, you, can you can go somewhere else. You can uh, go eat. 
You can you can jump you can jump rope. You can uh, play video games. This game teaches bombs can fix all your problems. True. There are no downsides. Oh, this is uh, we're just helping this guy move around, I guess. The goat, oh, the goat, goaded. This guy's goaded. I see. The goat is the goat is destroying everything. What are we doing? Oh, you can cross now. Interesting design for a level. I can't really tell what it's doing back there, but that goat is running around. Uh, goodbye, Cyanny. They knock that thing over. Um, yes, yeah, so let's lower this thing. Let's turn it around. Very interesting. Okay, <laughs> now what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to just go... Wait, hold on. I'm gonna destroy this thing. Yeah, finish it off. We get materials. Now we can craft a bigger axe maybe? No, we can't. What does he want from me? I'm just gonna be here destroying... Oh, look at... Okay. Okay, now we can get the bigger axe. Then craft something. I'm not sure what exactly this will help us do, but it's there if we need it. Oh, maybe we, we can destroy this truck. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. And then there's probably something back here. Oh, I see. Oh, that's the second part. The second part of the puzzle. For wheels. Wait, I hope everyone's having a nice day though. Saturday, you know. Well, that Saturday. This bear, uh, no, we're helping the environment. They're, uh, there's this corporation that's evil and they're, they're building stuff. Yeah, we're destroying them. Yeah, you could you could classify this as eco terrorism, probably. <laughs> oh, they they wouldn't make us into the bad guy. There's no way. Low poly video game with a environmentalist story. Obviously, the good guy. Okay, there's a, there's a human here. They're a corporate slave, and we've converted them by slapping them, and now they are a, uh... What's he doing? Now he's a janitor. That's cool. I feel like janitors are underappreciated. Without janitors, we would be nothing. I don't even know what to do. We'd be living in our own filth. They were not here to help us. Oh, we found a bear trap. There it is. I don't know why they would put a bear trap like under all this stuff, right? A bear would not step on that thing. Bear traps are supposed to be easy to find. Okay, this guy's picnicking. What if I destroy this? I can't go that way. Okay, I can make a bigger axe. Oh, I see. Okay. Surely this axe can destroy the entire building. I knew it. Look at how strong this guy is. It was a lake the whole time. Or a pond. At what point does a, does a pond become a lake? There's like a specific number of like... Liters of water that's required, or is it the the size? Is it the depth? 
Here we go, we're done. We're done with this one. Now we can go hang gliding. That's pretty cool. You're not we. The goat. The goat can go hang gliding. Not us, though. We're too busy. Too busy destroying the... Look, that car. We destroyed the car. Up here, the toll booth. The goat is still here. What's up with this crater? Is it a turtle? The turtle is crying because its home has been destroyed by pollution. This really says a lot. It says too much. It says a lot. We can help. We're helping. Okay, we're going going down here. See, the weird thing is, we can't cut down trees. Even though that's what axes are mainly meant for. Because that's, that's not part of the message of this game. The axe can only be used to destroy garbage and man-made things. Okay, we can make the bigger axe now. I should probably change the costume. You've been wearing this uh this hockey uniform for long enough. Oh there's a turtle, look at that. The turtle looks so happy. There's a going turtle. What if we attack the turtle? Don't attack what oh shoot, okay. <laughs> They're surfing. Surfing on the turtle. How can he surf? How do people typically dispose of what their, uh, what is it called? What's the word? Is big electronics? Not electronics, uh, like your fridge, you know? I know you have to, like, call, you have to call the city and then they, they schedule a pickup, usually. And some people, they, they just put it up on Craigslist. People, do people still use Craigslist? Probably. There doesn't appear to be a difference of ponds and lakes. Wait, then what's the difference? What's the point then of the distinction? How can they be the same thing but be different words? Streaming on the Samsung fridge. That's right. Go slap that human. Destroy that bear trap. Consistent place for gym equipment. I guess that makes sense. You ever think it's weird that as humans we've invented stuff that's like... Basically useless except the fact that it's heavy, you know? <laughs> like here's, here's some weight. What do they do? Nothing. They're just heavy. Use Craigslist? I don't even know a Craig. Does anyone here even know a Craig? Is Craig even a real name? I've never met anyone named Craig. They're telling me he has a list? There's so many people on this list of his. Was I'm, I'm gonna assume it was founded by a guy named Craig. It has to be the only, only logical solution. No, we're destroying traffic. We're done. No, we're not done. Not yet. We still have more things to destroy. Cars. The cars are are dead. Over here. What's that? What is that over there? That's a guy chilling. Everyone here is just chilling. I guess we are done with this. This feels inefficient. Look at that. This car is up here. Notice how no human came out of that car. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> I think we just killed that guy. Whoever was in that car is now dead. 
this car as well. It's dead. Bears don't even understand. Is that we got a beehive? I think bees are pretty important to the local economy. And also the global economy. The turtle is diving. Those turtles move pretty fast. Okay, I should hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate now. Be right back. I've returned from hydration. Actually, I was here the whole time. I don't know if you could tell. I was here the whole time. I just press the button. It's cause this, uh, this truck is on fire. What are these? Are these otters? Is that, not, is that thing on the left? Is that a platypus? Yo, this, doesn't this look like a Left 4 Dead level? Remember that level of Left 4 Dead? Where there were cars. There were many of them. There were so many cars in that game. Okay, we do not have the strength to destroy that. We are standing on the car. This car. What is up with all these cars? But wait, doesn't doesn't this guy over here? <laughs> I thought this was like a guy, like a monk, doing a doing a pose. You know, doesn't it look like that guy? And actually, that's a tree. I remember. Yeah, exactly. What is it called? There were a bunch of them. There was one that was like on a bridge. At the end of the bridge, there was one. What? Well, there was a guy playing DJ music. Dark card. Oh yeah, 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 that, that one. I remember. Left 4 Dead 2. That was the one that had the tunnel. The tunnel. And cons, you have to go on the roller coaster. That was a good game. Fun game. Would recommend Left 4 Dead. And Left 4 Dead 2. One of the classic games of all time. Some would even say goaded. Wait, how do I get... I guess I have to come back here later. When I have the big axe. Yeah, how can they make classic games? I think they'll, they'll make any more new classic games. At what point does a game become classic? Like, do you think there's any games in the past three years that we would, that we would consider classic? Because I, I think like many people would consider like um, like Super Meat Boy to be classic, right? How long ago was that? Like ten years ago? Fifteen years ago? Don't even know. Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring will probably be considered a classic. Slowpoke Rodriguez showed up in my YouTube Rex. Yeah, they know. They know. They're tracking you on Twitch. They're aware that we talked about it. I mean, it gets recommended to a lot of people, so I guess I'm not that surprised. The human oh, look, everyone's dancing. How can they dance? How can they even dance this much? I'm 
going out here disco dancing. Look at that. This, <laughs> this disco ball is not even attached to anything. It's just there. It's just floating. Whoa, what the what the heck? Trees don't do that. You can't expect me to think that trees do this. Unrealistic. Refund. Refund this game. We got the big axe now. Yeah, I feel like okay, as far as games, recent games that I think would probably would be considered classics, I would think Breath of the Wild probably would be one of them. Uh, probably Elden Ring. Um, any others? I don't even know. Probably not Pokemon. Genshin? <laughs> you guys think Genshin is a classic? Maybe. Sure, it will be. I'm sure it will be remembered fondly by many people. Breath of the Wild is proto Elden Ring. Oh, Mario Odyssey. I think Mario Odyssey probably, maybe. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, Nintendo does make a lot of classics. Many of them. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Splatoon. I think Splatoon. Splatoon is a classic. I don't know if it's like Splatoon 3 specifically. Oh wait, there's a Splatfest going on right now. Maybe if we beat this game before the two and a half hour mark, we can switch to Splatoon. Possibly. Look at these fish. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons, baby. Classic zoo. This is a zoo. You're welcome, Deffens. They would never call a zoo a zoo, right? They would never have a logo that looks like this. Ooh, tennis time. I'm doing another another bomb moment. Just have bombs in there. Just out here sending bombs at things. What's that? Food. Got the food court right here. We got the balloons. Balloons tower defense. Destroying the food stand. <laughs> I destroy this. Honestly, when I came into this game, I was expecting like more of a story, honestly. <laughs> I thought there'd be like, oh no, bear, please save us, and then there'd be like dialogue. Actually, this feels very like arcade like. It feels like uh what the golf. A little bit. Hat in time. I have seen many people say good things about that game. Under yeah, definitely Undertale. For sure Undertale would be considered a classic. Is this a lion? A lion with a duck shirt? Check that out. You can pat the lion. You can slap the humans. Check that out. You can save the giraffe. You can pet the giraffe. Giraffe. What is this? Is that a koala? That is a koala. That is a koala -y koala. What is this? An elephant? You can pet the elephant. Send the bomb. Send the bomb. We're doing some tennis. Oh no.
Oh, I had to send it from over here. I see. That's what they wanted me to do. Over here? Yeah, quality. That's what I said. I know what I said. That's easy. This game so easy. What is this animal? A deer? Possibly a deer? Am I supposed to destroy the walls? I am. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear. Doe a deer, a female deer. Okay, now we go this way. Oops. We have to destroy the lock. Free the animals. Save the animals. Like this. It's that easy. <laughs> what the? The elephant just did a dab. You guys see that? The elephant out here dabbing. Next, they should destroy the machine that makes the bombs. Yeah, there's the dab. The bomb lobbing machine has created... We can't allow this to continue. It's too dangerous. Gotta destroy it. I guess there's still more stuff we have to destroy. Okay, we have to destroy... That thing. That, yeah, there it is. Yeah, who made this Lamau? Actually, don't know. <laughs> who made this game? Is it even possible to send this thing back? Also, what is that? Do you guys see that? Is that a shadow? That's not how shadows work. You guys mess up your shadows. Welcome, Slime Molder. Am I winning? I am indeed winning. Okay, I guess maybe we don't destroy the bomb lobbing machine. Is that a nodder's emote? Such an aggressive nod. Or maybe we go up to it in person and then destroy it ourselves. Okay, I guess you can't destroy it. I'm gonna assume I, I fixed all of the uh, things. Yeah, Armor Games. This was made by Armor Games. Or published? I don't even... Published by Armor Games. Final Boss Games. You're telling me this is the final boss? Are we not done? <laughs> Wait. They're clapping? They're clapping for me? What do you want me to do? Am I not done? I'm not done here. I tried to send the bomb back. Oh, okay. That I That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to do this and you wouldn't let me. And now you let me? I can't believe this. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Look at those claps. Congratulations. These are some really good low poly models. Honestly, I would say they are very good. Look, he's doing a dab. Well, that's not really a dab. That's just like an arm raise. Armor games. Got an alligator or crocodile. I never know the difference. No, they got caught in the net. No, that's the gator from Little Gator Game. Yeah, Armor Games. They're still around. They published this game. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, what the... Classic. One of the classic game websites. I didn't know that Cool Math Games was such a thing, right? I, I didn't even know Cool Math Games existed until, like... Maybe like last year. For me, it was all about like Newgrounds, Armor Games, Albino, Black Sheep. Probably some other ones. Never even heard of cool math games. 
And most of the- many of the games there aren't even math related. Isn't that kind of messed up? They say cool math games? What do they have to do with math? Why don't they put the little blue elephant flash game? I don't think I know that game. The little blue elephant flash game? Remember that game where you're like a bunny and you have to like jump on rings? Oh yeah, Congregate was a thing. You're like a rabbit and there were like bells in the sky and you try to get up as high as you can. That game was cool. I forget what it's called. It's called This is the Only Level. I don't think I've seen that game. Armor Games is classic. I would not be surprised if you've used it. Surely there's more than one level. There's gotta be more than one level. Oh. What am I doing? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's not clear to me. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm like making a path for the for the alligators to go. Wait, can you go? <laughs> One. I just destroy stuff. I'm just out here destroying. That's all I know how to do. Destroy. Uh... It's got- oh wait, what if I- can I- oh I see, I see, I see. So put this thing all the way on the other side. No, drop, drop this. <laughs> Put it back, put it back. Here's what we do. Do this thing. Go back. And then we do this, look. That's what it is. They wouldn't lie, I think they would. I think many games are famous for saying that they're gonna do something and then they do the opposite. This is the only level, I think not. Likely story. Okay, now we can go onto the ship and destroy everything. And then we'll have enough uh, enough resources to build a larger axe that can destroy many more things. That's what the game is. That's what that's what life is about, really. Gathering enough materials to destroy many things. Oh, and the bear trap is there as well. I don't like how the music just stops. Wait a second, did I, did I lock myself out? Oh, I see. I can destroy the crate. I don't like how the music just stops. There we go. We got this one, and then we can destroy this house. We can destroy the bear trap. There was a human in there. A pirate, even. Got the bear trap. You can pet the pirate. And then you can go down here and get the big axe. And then with the large axe you can destroy everything. Why doesn't I if I were the bear, I would simply take the big axe with me, like between levels. That would make things so much easier. Why don't they think of this? Now they're homeless. No. Who, who's they? The bear? The human? The human? The, the crate? That was a bear. I'd simply walk into gas station and grab snacks. I did I did get recommended those videos recently. A bunch of them. They're just like bears walking in. And they uh... They grab stuff from the shelves, but then they don't actually tip over the shelves. They're so polite. 
There's one where there's like a bear picking up stuff from the convenience store. And then like it just leaves. And there's a guy in the store just doing an evil laugh. Kinda weird. Yeah, pointing out. Yo, the pirate ship is here. Can we destroy the pirate ship? We cannot destroy the pirate ship. Okay, according to this game, pirate ships are good. You cannot destroy them. Other modern ships, though, those are evil. We're done here. Toxic materials. They're dumping things into the ocean. A Ludite game. Yo, isn't that the YouTube guy? Ludwig? Ludite? Where else do I drop my battery acid? Um, in the dump. What the? That's mean. Penguin bully? How can this penguin bully like that? Unbelievable. Remember that classic, <laughs> that classic gif of a, a penguin slapping another penguin into the ice? Back when forum signatures were a thing and avatars, I would always see uh, someone that had that as their avatar. Let me see if I can find it actually. <laughs> It'll probably be like, yo, I remember this. GIF of penguin slapping penguin into the ice. This one. This one right here. Copy image address. Hold on. Here are all the, <laughs> all the image sources from last time. This one. Remember this one? It's in the top left. Here, let me hide the other ones. It's tiny. This one, everyone like used this as a forum signature or avatar at some point. Classic, classic animated GIF. Yeah, you remember. You, we all remember. We were there. Dancing baby. Remember the uh, this page is under construction Pikachu. It had like the hard hat and it was a uh, using Whatever the, the jackhammer Visit my web ring Violence that one video of a koala pushing a koala off his tree. I don't think I've seen that one That's mean animals are so cool but you know who the cruelest animal is? Humans. Really says a lot. Humans. Kind of messed up. Wiggling. We're out here wiggling. Destroy this. Destroy this. Physics based destruction. Okay, I guess I can't. I guess I can't destroy it. Destroy the buoy. No. Okay, now we can destroy these. That one video. What that one video makes you sad though. Why would I watch it if it makes you sad? <laughs> Look at this video. It makes me sad. Please watch it. Sad video. What the? <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that. Remember the classic urine licking screen animation by Glasswind? Murin? What is that? Is that a cat? Mur I still don't know what that is though. Simply do not know. Those were classics though. Remember the one of the guy typing furiously at his keyboard and then like his hands uh 
were bleeding and then they fell off and then he <laughs> used his head to smash the keyboard. Remember that? It was so violent. And yet everyone used it. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff back in the day. We don't even know who made it. Hold on, let me look up this, uh, this Muri cat. Muri licking screen animation. Screen animation. By Glasswind. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this. Everyone used this one. I don't even know what was the source of this one. Here, we'll show it. We'll bring it up. This one. Everyone used this one as well. It's one of the classics. Why is the cat so neon? The stick figure- yeah, the stick figures fighting the wall. Those were so good. It like summoned a- summoned like a hammer. A spear. Wow. They're on Twitter. Let's see, I know that one of the animators for those stick figures, they're still animating and they're insanely skilled. Yeah, it's been like 20 years, right? They're, out, they're still out there making stick figure animation. Think of all the new tech. The new stick figure tech in the past 20 years. Then his head deflated. True. Oh, look, the penguins there. Oh, they don't draw stick figures? That's messed up. They should. They should draw stick figures. It's the one thing they were known for. They can only. You can only be known for one thing in your life. Tell me they're known for multiple things now. Something that's not related to stick figures. I don't believe this. So true, Trucy. Is do people say that now? Is that a thing that people say? Yeah, so true. Me only ever known for Aikatsu. Nothing else. Original Caramel Dunson. That was from an anime, right? Popotan or something? Did I break the laws of physics? Um, no, it's- oh, I did. Did I break the level? I don't know if I can complete this level now. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, game developers, are you watching this stream? Can you, um... To fix this bug? Can we get the human. We get that big axe. The original, original. Yes. The gift that people would edit. I don't. I don't even know. Just out here talking about classics. All the classics of all time. The coat. The classic of all time. People should start saying that. It's not about the goat anymore, it's about the coat. The classic of all time. This thing is coated, as they say. Ah, <laughs> oh, the penguins are here. This doesn't seem like the appropriate climate for penguins. It's like... Don't they live in the Arctic? Oh, there's a guy here. I think we're done here. We have completed everything that can possibly be done in, in this level. Some penguins live in non-Arctic climates. Prove it. I don't believe it. This reminds me of the Squirtle Squad. That one, that one penguin wearing the glasses. Everyone else with their different outfits. Wait, I failed to save the environment. Oh, shoot, I messed up. I didn't save the entire environment. The penguin in South Africa. I see. Interesting. Ah, 
How do they do it, though? What if there were penguins that could fly? Now we're doing another bomb level. People say penguins don't fly, but what if they're just there are penguins that we haven't seen? And those penguins do fly. We just don't know. What if they live in the depths of the ocean? Right? We there we know more about space than our own oceans. There's gotta be like a penguin somewhere. Can I just stop this guy? Oh no, you can you can be set on fire. Is that one from that Yeti flash game? Yeti flash game? Which one is that? Okay, I, th I thought I could like throw the bomb at this guy and stop him from shooting. What is he even doing? <laughs> he's, he's just shooting flames for no reason there's nothing even there you're just wasting everything you're just wasting your time just slap that human okay, we'll go this way we'll just go we'll just we're just going that's how you do it. Now we're at the house. Now we craft. Now we can craft everything. Everything can be crafted here. But specifically an axe. Right, what are what are some other classics? Um Books? You guys remember books? I remember books. Anime? Whoa. Anime is pretty classic. Oh yeah, another one. The uh, the anime goth girl with the cross behind her. Remember that one? That made like a comeback recently, or like within the past few years. The original artist who drew that anime character. They started drawing other stuff. And people are like, yo, that, that was my childhood. I used that as my avatar. You know that Iris fan game where you can chuck her as far as you can? It was like that, but you threw penguins. I do not know that Iris fan game. Wait, maybe I do. Was it something, something with the word hope in it? Raising hope or something? I don't know. I've never played it, but I, I might be aware of it. That one Pawn and Z comic panel? Ponzi Scheme? Ponzi Schemes are pretty classic. Yes. That one Flash game where you're like a bicycle... Nanaka Crash. Also classic. Remember Bernie? Yeah, remember Bernie. Remember the classic joke where he where he made off with a lot of money. Oh yeah, that that, that made you a cookie when I eat it. Oh, is that a, is that a pun? Is that a joke? I think this is some kind of joke. Some kind of sick joke. For your amusement. Oops, I'm stuck. Post the sick man. Bob the sick man. Classic YouTube. You ever look at like old screenshots of YouTube from back in the day? It's so dated. Oh, he's disco dancing. Bob the Bob the Builder. Okay, I've saved everyone. What is this? Okay, 
We have a different outfit now. That's a cow. Are we? Is this the? This is the evil corporation headquarters. Could this be the final battle? Maybe it's not the headquarters. Why are they? They're just throwing bombs on their own property for no reason. Just uh, destroy everything. Destroy this thing. The thing with the conveniently marked X on it. I remember Exxon. Exxon Mobile. Nexon. Yeah, where do they even get all these bombs? They're really, really, they are evil. They're so evil. What else do I do? <laughs> uh, this? Go this way. I slap this human. Okay, it was conveniently censored by the by the helicopter. You couldn't see me slap the human. I probably have to craft. Uh, nope, never mind. I go in here. I do not go in there. Do I hit the thing back? Maybe I need to get the arc just right. No? Okay. What else? What else can I even do? Oh, destroy the wall? Okay. Now I have enough for a large X. And presumably this can be used to destroy the buildings. The building which for some reason could not be destroyed by a bomb. Oh, now we got the industrial strength bomb. Okay. Whoops. It's that easy. If I was the corporation, if I was the evil CEO guy, I would simply just not have like these strong bombs that can be used to destroy my own building. So welcome Cass. Yes, you are right. This bear is a lumberjack. In fact, it is a lumberjack. We have the huge axe. Check out this huge axe. Hold on, let me slap these humans. That's a human right there. That's another human right here. Do this. You know, I probably have to just go over here and do it. Okay, I can just do that. It's that easy. Yeah, Hugh Jackson. I, I'm pretty sure I made that same joke earlier. Yo, yeah, they're going to watch the big game. Look at that, they got the big foam fingers. Prouds. They're playing tennis. And badminton. Just slap the CEO. Oh, there's the bear trap. Don't think I didn't see that. I th you thought I didn't see that. No, what? Bear? Destroy the helicopter, maybe? No? Okay. Oh, is this not the end of the level? Okay, this... Now we're going into the big city. Are we gonna destroy the whole city? You think we'll, out we'll be out here destroying an entire city? Oh shoot, we are. It's time. Oh, there's actually more than I thought. Sports ball. Yo, they're jogging. They got the rabbits jogging with the humans. Oh no, it's the evil corporation. How are they surprised? I'm sure this stuff has been here for a while. You're just jogging. Imagine you're just jogging and you see a building and you're like, oh no, it's the evil building. They're somehow surprised. 
even though it's been here probably for a while. It's the, it's them evil, evil corporation. What does it stand for? Every villain is lemons. That's what it is. Oh the hell with that evil Joe. Out there. He's just doing evil stuff. You know how he is. We always tell him to not be evil and yet he's he doesn't even pay attention. He's so wacky. Keep telling him. Being evil is not good. So wait, doesn't this look like Pikachu? Guys, look at this. You got the Pikachu cheeks, you got the eyes, you got the nose. Is Pikachu evil? The message of this game, Pikachu is evil. I can't believe Pikachu would do this. Unbelievable, I believe in you Pikachu. What the heck is that? How did that thing fall off? Okay, what do I do here? There's gotta be something behind. Nope, there's nothing behind here. What about this sign? Destroy the sign, maybe? I have destroyed the sign. Oh, you destroy the sign and then you can craft. You cannot craft. I do not have enough materials to craft. So I have to destroy- Oh, you can just do that, I see. <laughs> That's what that was for. I didn't think it was low enough. You can't tell because it doesn't have a shadow. I was like, where is it? Pikachu is out here wrecking everything. Whatever, I can destroy this though. I'm just leaving things all over the place. I want to see a wrecking ball machine in use. I don't think I've ever seen one, like, in real life. On a construction site, or anything, or anywhere even. Are they even real? Oh no, okay, I thought it got stuck. Imagine it got stuck up there. Okay, we can destroy this one though. I think it's fun to operate them. I feel like it'd be really dangerous. Right? What if it swings the wrong way and like hits yourself? You gotta be trained. You gotta be uh certified. Like they have forklift certification. They gotta have like a wrecking ball certification. Otherwise you can wreck yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. As they said in Wreck-It Ralph, probably. I never actually watched Wreck-It Ralph, but I imagine they probably said that. I feel like they'd be designed to avoid <laughs> to avoid minimal humor. I don't know, maybe? I'm sure there are Wrecking Ball accidents. I'm sure if you look up on Google or like YouTube, Wrecking Ball accident, I'm sure it's gotta be. Whoa! Powerful. Why are they so strong? Okay, we are destroying all the buildings. Evil Corporation stood no chance. Out here being evil? I don't think so. Wouldn't it be cool if at the end of the game they were they were replaced by a good corporation? That would be really subtle. Extremely subtle. Welcome to Fatal Games. That's one bear deck. Swinging wrecking ball comes loose from foot. Yeah, that that could probably happen, right? <laughs> Yo, let's go. All the joggers can now jog in peace. Now that the building that was not even obstructing their vision was uh was there. Good corporation, yeah. There's gotta be some good corporations out there. 
like, um, like what? <laughs> like, uh, Doctors Without Borders. They're, they're good, right? Probably. Okay, what else is, what else can I destroy? The bridge? You think, I, no, I can't destroy, I can't even destroy the bridge. There's a Yoshi eggs though. Look at that. Washington. That's not a real company. I was gonna say Denchi Corp, but it's actually Denchi Soft. That is that's not even a real corporation. Well, I guess we're done here. Three. Also welcome nutritious. Yo, we're running. Imagine racing a bear. How fast can bears run? They can run pretty fast. Oh, I failed to save. I failed to slap all the humans. Dang it. Okay. Ooh, burgers. It's burger time. It's Bergen time? Burgundy? Oh, now we're gonna be talking about how, uh, fast food is bad for you. I'm sure they'll replace it with, like, you know, healthy foods, farmer market or something. Thank you, Hamful. I also thought about that, and I didn't say it. Just like me, for real. One bear jack doesn't even care about the lower class. They can only afford the cheap fast food. You're out here destroying things from they, they can't even they're not even able to uh to subsist. It's a good slash. It, it is pretty good. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's a bear trap right here, in plain sight even. Out here destroying the lamps. The lanterns. Sign. Drive through. I don't think I've ever been like. I don't think I've ever ordered at a drive through. Or have I never, never? I can't even tell. I've never been in a car ordering at a drive through. Is, is that weird that I've never been? I don't even know what it's like. Burger out here. Destroying the motorbike. Now we can craft. I learned apparently from a video that uh, McDonald's got the idea of drive-thrus from In-N-Out Burger. I don't know if that's true, but uh, someone said it on YouTube, and so they wouldn't lie. It has to be real. Some of you have lived in cities? Yes, I have. Extremely true. I feel like this is not supposed to happen. Oh, no, I see. This is just a ramp. No longer open. What? No, they turn in they turn them into hipsters. Uh joggers, I mean. I mean I feel like this is going a bit far, right? Like the beginning the, the beginning of the game had like a message of like, you know, environmentalism. But now we're just going into the city, like destroying like fast food. Like that that feels like it's like a different goal. It's like a different message. It's not the same. A birdhouse. There's a guy out here. I do like how the restaurant though is shaped like a... What is it called? One of those burger boxes. Environmentalism can also get out of control. True. I don't think that's what they're doing here though. 
What if at the end of the game, we go into someone's apartment and destroy their computer? And then the message is video games are also bad. They are though. You should not be playing video games. And then they go into like a apartment and someone's like rolling for their favorite gacha character. And then we destroy their phone and we save them. And then the message is gacha is also evil. True. So true. Look at this natural slide. I feel you get splinters from this. <laughs> There's no way this is safe. It's dangerous. You would you would get uh, splinters for real. Exactly. Unless they smoothed it. You know, they could do that. What the heck? A four thing? What is that called? <laughs> uh, a cycle that has... Three seats. What is this? What could this be? A tank? Holy frick. <laughs> why why are they shooting they're you're in a city. You're like destroying your own bridges. You're welcome, Danny boy. It is hanging pretty well. Oh no. Okay, the bear trap is right here. Easy. So easy. Using a tank against the bear is a bit excessive. But the bear knows how to use an axe. This bear has demonstrated high levels of intelligence. We don't know what it's capable of. I mean, we do know what it's capable of. Because <laughs> we've seen it. Yes, this is a game known as Lumberjack. It's a game where you're a lumberjack and a bear. Do I destroy this thing? It's gotta be. That's gotta be enough. Oh, okay. This thing. Destroy this pipe. That's gotta be it. Now here, saving everyone from pollution. Craft, we're crafting. The Minecraft. This is Minecraft right here. Now we destroy the bus. Everyone that was on that bus is now dead. And now we can ride the turtle. We'll slap this human. There we go. <laughs> Toxic waste up here. We got the. What is that? It's like a car door? No, what is that? I don't even know what that was. We got uh, one of those things. We have a large X. The largest X known to man. Known to bear. I don't- I feel like a turtle would not be able to support the weight of a bear. Bears are really heavy. Okay, slap that guy. Destroy this thing. Okay, we gotta- we gotta slap this guy first. That's the guy that operated the tank. You can tell because he has the military hat. And now he's uh... where is he? Is that a fish man? Is that a fish man? What the heck is it? He became a fish? That's cool. Yo, everyone's here! There are giant tortoises that might be able to. I don't know about that. Isn't there like a giant turtle that's known for holding up the world? And what's holding up that turtle? We don't even know. I think that's it. I think we saved all the humans. We 
go. Oh, now we're going to the real evil corporation headquarters. This feels like the end, because everyone's here. All the animals, they're all here. I knew it. This is the final level. I can tell because there's not <laughs> there's nothing else around here. I say, let me hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate right now. Final, final level time. Possibly. No, I'm sure there's at least one of them. You can tell this guy's evil. He's got a, he's got a mustache, he's got a hat. Got a top hat. He's rich. We saved the alligator. We got the bombs. Yo, they're putting all the mechanics here. Everything we've learned is for this. Got the wrecking ball. You got this thing that you can't destroy. You got the the Doctor Who phone booth. We're golfing. First let me destroy this. There's a human in there. Is that Superman? Wait a second. <laughs> No, that's... Is that Batman? Is that a Batman reference? Destroy this thing. I'm sure there's something up here. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, there is. Okay, there is something. It's a maze. Okay, we can destroy destroy that. That created a ramp. What if I send the bomb back here? Okay, that does destroy this stuff. That's pretty cool. You're destroying everything. We're doing 100%. No, probably not. <laughs> okay, see, we send the bomb down here. That will destroy this thing. The cement mixer. And then this thing, maybe? I don't know. Destroy that one. No, I'm normally not even a completionist. Also, welcome Dork Angle. This is not real golf. There's no holes in one. Not even real. Now, now it's tennis time. You guys, remember when we played tennis? You can tell it's the real ending because we're putting everything together. And everything we've learned. I've already said this. <laughs> I've said this already. The bomb is going here. We throw it at the building, maybe. Or not. Oh, the bear trap right here. I almost missed the human as well and the bear trap. Okay, I guess that doesn't work. What if I throw the bomb this way? Yeah, so we are destroying uh, an evil corporation, conveniently known as evil. We're slapping humans to convert them to uh, other things that are not evil. Is your wall is it a walrus? This is a bear. <laughs> the game is called Lumbear Jack. Also, welcome, Jose. Walrus. Okay, 
Okay, we've saved we've saved many things here. Back here with the wrecking ball. Oh, and then presumably we can get the uh, get the bombs here. Okay, maybe not. I thought I could get the bomb over here to destroy this wrecking ball. Oh, okay, now we can go up here. Why is the company called Evil? Um, it's because it's because they're evil. That's just how they do things, okay? Dark Souls ladder, right here. Climbing up the ladder. We can now create a large X. Except I don't know where the crafting bench is. We're simply just going up. I think there's something down there that I didn't fix. So the road is still there. Apple calling themselves evil, but they're just literally open. Why would Apple call themselves evil? Oh, here's the crafting bench. Look at that. Destroying the support pillars. Destroying this. Destroying this helicopter. To get the biggest axe. The largest axe known to bear. Here we go. This is this is the finale. Without the helicopter, the evil man can go nowhere. He's jumping. He lands in a bear trap. No, he doesn't. Oh he this is not the last level. Maybe it is, actually never mind. Has been surrounded by a huge turtle and many other animals. Okay, how do I get down? I would have thought it would have been <laughs> here. Go back this way. Wait, what do I do? <laughs> how do I get out of here? Um, oh, oh, okay. One Streetlight Manifesto music video. I am unfamiliar with this music video, but I am aware of this band, the ska band known as Streetlight Manifesto. Only because Amelia Watson sings their song sometimes. In karaoke. Look, we destroyed we destroyed this machine. That machine, this machine's done. We can destroy this thing. Oh, we can destroy the whole building. Yo. Yeah, rage against the machine. Look, this thing got destroyed somehow. Wow. I destroyed the company and single-handedly left many unemployed people. No, that's fine. They were evil. He slapped this guy so hard, he became a dad. And now he's good. The end of the journey achievement unlocked. Yo. That's how you solve it, no matter how evil you are. If you get slapped by a bear, you're fine. Yo, the final boss. Wait, okay, the, you're right, the company was named Final Boss. Look at these credits. Oh. Really cool. Really cool game. I think this game was pretty fun. It's also like the perfect length for a game, you know? <laughs> Lugnut, there was a pet named Lugnut. Max, Charlie, thanks for playing. Whoa, I'm in there? Whoa, how could they? 
Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm honored. How did they do that? How did they get my name in there? And me. And me specifically. Yeah, I'm in there. They they saw my animation. They're like, that's so cool, man. I'm gonna put your name. Yeah, how do you all have they how did they even do it? I don't even know. Okay, well, I, we have like half an hour left. I guess we can We can do something else. Do I want to 100% this game? <laughs> I have to like redo most of mo many of the levels. Not not most of them. Oh, we can check out the uh, the different outfits, right? I forgot who it was that allowed us to change outfits. There was a guy somewhere. Was it this guy? No, <laughs> this is not. No. Quit. Go back to the world map. Jeff Bezos' secret true ending boss. Oh, you can just press this. Okay. Here's all the outfits. You got a uh, Boy Scout. Aren't they just called the Scouts now? It's not. It's not Boy Scouts anymore. It's just Scouts. You got the. You, know, you got the classic lumberjack. The plaid. Wait, what, is this the classic lumberjack or is this one? Oh, the plaid. Okay, we got this one. We got the pirate. We got whatever this is. <laughs> what is this? I don't even know. We got the superhero. Chef with the pizza cutter. You got uh businessman. Business bear. And that's it. Let's be this one. We've become the corporate evil that we sought to stop. Okay, well, I guess that's it. That's Lumbear Jack. Pretty cool game. Um, you can play something else. We've completed the game. We can play uh, Splatoon, right? There's a Splatfest going on right now. Maybe I could do that. Anyway, I, I gotta find like a game to play on on uh, Tuesday and also next Saturday. So I have a few games. We have this one, which is like your building stuff. You got QT, which is like, uh, I don't really even know what this is. It's like a weird first person game. It's got, got really good graphics, as you can tell in Dwarf Fortress. No. I don't know about that. Picto Picks, this is a uh, Picross. Well, we finished Paparazzi. Oh yeah, I have Power Wash Simulator. That's the Wolfie, Wolfie Smile emote. This? These? And yeah, Mario 3D World as well. Demon Crawl? Wait, we can play this. This is uh, this is Minesweeper, but as a roguelike. Oh yeah, we have Dinkum. This is a, uh, like a farming game in Australia or something. And then like a bunch of VR games that I will never play. We have a train simulator, which I bought on sale and will never play because it's too complicated. This game we got for free. I did see the Amelia Watson birthday stream. It's pretty cool. Trains. Um, well, I guess that's it. Let's play Splatoon. We're going to play some Splatoon. I'm going to turn off my computer. We can play Splatoon. Let me, let me, uh, my controller. Alright, I'm back. I have my Switch controller now. Let me turn on my Switch. 
some reason it's not working. No, there it is. Let's see your whole seamless. I can show you my library. What do you mean? What does that mean? I have many Steam games. Okay, we're Splatoon. There's Splatoon. Yeah, switch the switch on. Let me change the category to Splatoon. Splatoon 3. Done. All right, Team Spicy, I guess. Right, the options for this Splatfest are spicy, sweet, and sour. And I don't, I'm not a fan of the other two, so I guess my only option is spicy. Listen up, y'all. It's going down. Yeah, they could have had salty instead of sour. Like, who the heck is gonna choose sour? The Wolfie Wolfington. Not me. Sweet is winning. New season. You can tell I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> new weapons. New map. Two new maps. What the? Did the catalog reset? I failed to get- I didn't get the, uh... The dab. <laughs> I was near the end, but I didn't actually play enough to get the dab. Has it been reset? Can, am I no longer able to get the dab? So welcome tag down. Can't watch one to know if I'm winning. I ha I'm not even playing yet. <laughs> okay. Catalog, okay, there's a thing. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. Okay, you know like the when you haven't opened a game in forever and they, they like hit you with like a billion items? Yeah, okay, okay, I, I, okay. There we go, okay, wow. Yo, look at all these bonuses, whoa! <laughs> Dream kill. Mystery box. Stickers, when will it end? Okay, there it is. Um... The art on those cards. They're pretty good. Okay, let's change my... change my title. How do I do that? Gear? My title is Feral Stand-Up Comic. Um... <laughs> drained. We got Aged. So we have... Seasoned Sizzlin. We also unlocked Cat, Challenger, Fuzzball, Imp, Middle Manager. Let's be... Painted, painted cat, mostly cat, made to order cat. Feral cat. Evil cat. Let me be evil cat. And a feral cat. I'll just be feral cat. Crusty cat. Okay, we're gonna choose a team. Gotta be team spicy. Probably. Sure, why not? <laughs> but like the thing is, I don't really enjoy pepper spicy, right? But like there's like the the Szechuan pepper spicy, which is like the, the numbing spice. I like that one. It's not represented here, but I guess I'll, I guess I'll do it. Yeehaw. Gaming. Alright, let's go play some matches. I don't remember what weapon I was using. Jalapeno spicy. That's the pepper spice. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I prefer it over sweet, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's double that battle cash. I'm already doing something. Okay, never mind. What weapon am I using? Okay, I'm using the, uh... 
No, I gotta use the the no skill weapon. That's that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Let's equip the uh, no reflux. Don't have to aim. Don't have to do anything. Let's equip the uh, the special up or whatever. I haven't played in so long. I already forget what my my choice of equipment is. I think it was this. And then what was it? this? Yeah, this one. This one was good. No skill. Okay, let's do uh tricolor. Yeah, we gotta do tricolor because if you're on the other team, if you're on the the non-winning team, tricolor is good for you. This guy still plays more Splatoon. Splatoon. The Impulse says, love the spice, but my tummy hates it. Yeah, that's why I prefer not to not to eat it. No, like numbing spice is perfectly fine. Perfectly acceptable. If they had spicy, I would have chosen spicy. Or not <laughs> not spicy, uh salty. I don't understand the spicy food. There's a thing called uh, capsaicin, right? That's that's the uh, the thing. How is it taking this long to find a team? This is it's Splatfest. Everyone's playing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, capsaicin is the hot spicy. Here we are. We're attacking. It's attack in time. Remember this? Welcome to you did miss the bear. The bear was real and you didn't even see it. Therefore you can't confirm whether the bear is real. But I know it's real. We all know the bear is real. Also welcome to Cerebro. Everyone's playing, there's no one on the lobbies. No, no one's even play Dead game? Look, I got two people. <laughs> two people for doing nothing. No skill. No skill, two kills. That's how you play this game. How are we so good? We secured the Ultra Signal already. It's because... Because I did it. Definitely because of my two kills. Blue. Yeah, but there's no blue. It's only green. Sorry, I should be using my special. <laughs> I didn't even notice that my special was uh, was available. Can't believe Hamplo is racist against a green. What could we do? This? Again, only sweet mirror mastered. <laughs> I think I guess a lot of people are choosing a sweet then. All the green names. We got a lot of green names in chat again. Oh, <laughs> how did that hurt elbow? How did they do this? Wow, we're winning so much. Look at how much we're winning. Even though I'm bad, woomi.mp4? What's everyone's favorite video file thing? MP4? MKB. Uh, RMDB. <laughs> Remember that. Real media. GIF. MP4. Extremely relatable question, though. I'm dead. How are we still winning? MP4 is generally compatible with many things, but for some reason, when I try uploading some MP4s to, to Twitter, it just doesn't work. It just does not accept my, uh, my files. <clears throat> oh, we are extremely winning. Wait, we got both the Ultra Signals? How are we so good? <laughs> my, my teammate is carrying. 
too good. Teammate is too good at this. And me. 40%? Wow. Amazing. High skill gameplay. Spamming using missiles. Yeah, it's because of the two people I killed. It's flatty. I've only ever been... <clears throat> Whoops, oh god. Been told there's a time limit. I assume it, there's a size limit. No, I think it's like the format. Something... There's like... Some, some sort of codec in MP4 that they don't accept. Number one turf anchor, that's me. Spicy fan. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hydrate. I feel like I'm, I'm missing out on hydration. No, every clip I've uploaded to Twitter has been MP4. Yeah, but not all MP4s are the same. Some of them are different. Sometimes I have to like specifically go on a website and like convert my MP4 to an MP4 that is compatible with Twitter. And I don't know what it is. Quick time. I think my issue is because I use QuickTime to record whatever videos that I tend to upload and then I convert those to MP4 locally and then it just doesn't work. I'm back here, Winamp. Winamp is in a format. That was time. Time can't even be quick. Time goes at a constant rate. Tell me they can speed up time. I don't think so. There you go. Imagine I get two splats here. That would be so cool. Okay, I, I got no splats here. Is Winamp an NFT? I don't think they wouldn't do this. There's no way. No, Ultra Signal. Okay, I used my special on one guy. That's fine. <clears throat> You're still using Winamp? It's free, right? You can still use it. You can use it forever. Just played the first tricolor and it was three sweet teams. There's too many people. Too many people choosing the same team. Wait, which team is in the lead right now? Is it Sweet? Sweet is winning. Oh no, wait, which one was Yellow? Yellow is Sour. Wait, why is Sour in the middle? They can't be winning. Sour is like the least pleasant. I oh, know, I'm dead. Wait, we're still winning. Wait, how the heck are we winning? <laughs> we have 30... 35%. Oh, any team can be in the middle. Okay, I see. That makes more sense. Because it's like, it's inherently imbalanced. So I don't know what people use nowadays because Winamp still does everything I wanted to do. I don't even have my media stored locally anymore. I just use Spotify. Just how it is. Everything's in the cloud nowadays. Paying a monthly subscription. That shouldn't have happened. SMH, yeah, me SMH my head. We're still winning. Uber. Oh no. Hey, I got I got someone somehow? How's that even possible? Okay, Wolfie's a zoomer. Look, it's good for discovering music. They've got the algorithms 
If it wasn't for Spotify, I would just be listening to like the same songs all the time. I mean, even with Spotify, I listen to the same songs all the time, but it's like, you know, slightly different every week. It's a little bit different. Check that out. We win. There it is. It's me. Everyone else. When I use Spotify for free, it was such a bad experience. Understandable. The ads are kind of unpleasant. You know if you use Spotify on like a... What do they call them? Home? A smart player? Whatever. <laughs> like Google... Google Home or Alexa. Uh, at least when I used to use it. They don't really have ads. They're like, they'll have ads, but it's not for products. Instead of like, hey, check out this brand or this whatever. It's like... You can try using uh, Spotify on your Google Home. And that's it. That's a whole ad. Ads, it would rent it would shuffle into a different album that's how they save money that's how they uh you guys are aware of dmca for radio technically spotify is a is an online radio so they have to apply they have to abide by the uh the dmca rules for radio playback also welcome admiral kobayashi it's a bunch of random stuff like you're not allowed to play the same the same song by the same artist or like you're not allowed to play the same song by the same artist back to back or something. Or like within within an hour there's a certain number of limits certain limit of how many songs you're allowed for a specific artist. I don't even know. Weird stuff like that. And if you're DMCA radio compliant, you pay less fees. Don't ask how I know this. I just happen to know. I've never worked for Spotify, but I do know some people that did. Some people left the company that we worked at and they went to Spotify. Yeah, radio station. How do I know this? I don't even know. Yeah, so like radios, they, you also can't say like which songs are coming up, right? You can only say the next song that's coming up, you have to be like, okay, the next song is this one. Stay tuned. But you can't say, okay, coming up, we have this song, this song, and this song. There's a maximum of one look ahead in the buffer before you're violating the law. WB wants- well, I got two people. WB- I got three people. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Just reading chat. WB1 classified their own site as illegal. Dang. Stuff like that. How do I know? How does Wolfie know all this insider information about DMCA radio? Who even knows? Not me. There's no way. Fuel. Gamer fuel for gamers. Look, I got him. Winter Shark. More like Loser. <laughs> That's toxic, I'm sorry. Yeah, because Win, Winter, but he was not winning. He was actually losing. But this was me being toxic. That was probably a child. I should not have... should not have destroyed him like that. The same guy. Toxic. How is he so toxic? Oh no, I'm dead. BBC Technology? Is that an article about how, how WB classified their own site as illegal? There's a guy, I knew it, there was a guy there. I saw him. It was the same guy. That guy's not having a good time. Okay, so I knew it. Is that also one of the sites where you can change, like, we had this talk a while back about how uh, in a URL that has a number in it, you can change the text to say whatever. Like, what if you change that that the word technology in that URL to be whatever you want? Would it still point to the same article? I think so. Probably. 
probably would. ubc.com slash news slash slash they added Splatoon to Fortnite dash three seven whatever. Yeah, DMCA enthusiast. It's me. I know all the DMCA laws. The radio industry. No, we've been winning so much. How am I winning so much? Anyway, let me click this article. What does it say? Yeah, Warner Brothers reports own site as illegal. Remember when they actually did that? I remember. I was there. Warner Brothers. Maybe they, sh they should have warned their brothers. That doesn't even make sense. Maybe they should have warned their brothers. Before they classified their own site as illegal. Minus two. That one wasn't even good. It wasn't even a good joke. Hardly, yeah, he hardly even knows the punchline to the joke. Anyway, it's fun. We have fun here. Twitch.tv slash Walfers. Waiting for Splatoon. Lose a looster shark. Rooster. That guy's title is Gaming Gamer. You guys see that? How can he be gaming? How can the gamer have Gaming Gamer? That's the title. They're so built different. Unbelievable. Whoa, hey, whoa. How dare you? You try to walk up to me with your Splatoon roller? I don't think so. He'll never get me. This guy, though. This guy can get me. I knew it. Moon with the weird letters. This guy's here. We got we got a guy here. We're gonna we're gonna spawn camp him. Got him. It's the same guy. It's not actually spawn camping. It's, uh, jump camping. Is that what they call it? Soft crab moon. It also asks the search giant to remove links to legitimate movie streaming websites run by Amazon and Sky. Sky. What the heck is Sky? Also IMDB. You can't host information about movies. The only way you're allowed to know about movies is by watching them. People out here reading summaries for movies? You're robbing the business. People worked hard on those movies and you're out here saying what happened to them. They will never allow this. How did I get <laughs> Okay, I, I said he will never get me, but he did. Even worse. He's back. He's back. Okay, I got him. I got my revenge. And then someone else got me. I'm watching YouTube text-to-speech summaries. Yeah, they should bring back the dislike, the dislike meter, so you can tell when a video is not good before watching it. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oops. Oh no! This guy's named Clorox. Look at that. 
No, you think they use Clorox in the, in the world of Splatoon? Why did they name it? Why did they name it Clorox? I don't even know. Chlorine, ox, oxygen. Wait, we won. <laughs> Wait, how the heck did we win? Did not expect that. Adding the the ox, chlorine. When they said disabling likes was to pre protect the creator, and the creator is the only one who could see them. Yeah. Also, welcome, Marklar. It's like you gotta send the uh, thumbs down button. Emote, I mean. Here, I probably shouldn't have left the team because that teammate was actually pretty good. But um, I gotta eat some more food. Imagine if you could give likes and dislikes to comments in chat. You can. You can reply to someone and just have like a thumbs down. <laughs> food is, yeah, they, they have food in this game. They have so much food that's not used. There's no shortage of food. Plus two. Plus one. Spicy, spicy fiend. Oh no, are we in the middle? Oh shoot. This is gonna be a disaster. Could this be the first loss of today? Wasting food when there are people splatting in Africa. Yeah, but I'm on the North American servers. My food does not affect them at all. They don't even exist. Thank you, Namai, for the 10 months. Oh no. I get two of these guys. I think we are doing pretty well. Whoops. Wait, what are the regions for Splatoon? I know there's like a North America region. There's probably like a Japan region. I think Japan and Australia are in the same region. Wait, I should have <laughs> should have uh, been shooting at this guy. Probably a, a Europe region. Is Europe and Africa in the same region? Splatoon wise. I would imagine probably. For 60 seconds. A minute passes. It's true. It's unfortunate. Time is real. Time is real everywhere, though. Whoa! <laughs> you got me. This could be the first loss. First loss of the day. Ever. The first time I've ever lost at this game. Oh, okay. And it would be the worst since it covers the most space. Yeah. Oh. It, no, we can't. We're not. Actually, we're winning. No, we're not. We're not winning. Oh. Uh, how am I not dead? Somehow I did not die from it. No, America needs to have its own entire region. Oh, oh no. Wait, we're still winning though. Look at that. 37%. That's a huge number. Oh no, they got it. <laughs> okay, never mind. We might not win this one. I think we may as well not win this one. We're still winning. We got 11 seconds left and we're still winning. Something 
sending the missiles down. Look at that. We I don't know if we got this. No, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. We, I think green one. See, everything changes in the last 10 seconds. The last 10 seconds is what matters. It doesn't matter how well you were doing. If you are failing in the last 10 seconds, there's no, there's no point. What's even the point? Just like, just like real life. Everything you've done doesn't even matter. It's only uh, the the last uh, 10 seconds before you die. Welcome, Mint. It's greetings, gamer. Greetings, Oofy gamer. I was watching Mint stream yesterday, and there were like two two subjects of conversation that came up that were exactly the same as stuff that we were talking about on our stream. I'm trying to remember what they were. I think I wrote it down. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. I take notes on things now. Sand cat, yo, you, you were talking about sand cats. Yesterday we were playing uh, Kimono Friends with Picross, and we we got sand cat. And then you talked about the the Neopets uh, omelet. And I said I was thinking about the Neopets omelet today. For multiple things. Yeah, those sand cats. How are the sand cats so small? I don't even understand. I did pull up a picture of Sandcat. It might still be in one of my OBS scenes, actually. Expires. Wait, I should be using my special. I'm just been out here inking for no reason. That's pretty cool. All the animals I showed yesterday were a picture that I took myself. With mint. Takes good photos. She showed the photo of like the flamingo, and I said, I remember that. I remember when, when she posted the link to that flamingo photo. Did you show the one with the windmills? I remember that one. That was when I was playing Toem, that one game with the photography. Can't believe Wolfie's stealing other folks' content and disguises it by playing games where those topics can be brought up organically. No, it's the other way around. Surprise, I remember any. I have really good memory. When people talk about things on my stream, it, it goes into my mental database. It'll be like five years from now. I'll be like, remember that one time you said there's one comment in my chat? <laughs> Yes, I remember. I can never forget. Imagine forgetting them. Who would ever even do that? Oh no! Bishop. That's not fair. That bishop should only be able to move diagonally. Moving in all directions. Imagine if bishops in real life could only move diagonally. No! Force others to remember things so I don't have to. But then what if they're not there? What if one day you're like, what was this thing I needed to remember? And the person you assigned to remember isn't even there? can't do anything. You gotta, you gotta depend on yourself. What the heck? Right, I forgot, that's where they spawn. The coolest thing about flamingos is that they have a convergent evolution mouth shape with their filter feeding whales. Convergent evolution mouth shape. What? Isn't it also true that flamingos are pink because of the shrimp that they eat? Is that true? Memory lost at time. Outsourcing your memory. Bailing. Okay, that's the that's a whale thing. Anyway, I guess that's probably gonna be it.
Let's play one more. One final round. The final Splatoon. Possibly ever. No, maybe not ever. For for the, for this Splatfest at least. Their heads are shaped like whales. Flamingos? Or whales? Are whales heads shaped like whales? Flamingos, yes. Flamingo mouth shape. Filter feeding. Oh, okay. Upside down. Upside down whale mouth. Dunk their heads under water. So they're upside down. Upside down whales. Flamingos are just upside down whales. You heard it here first. How does how does nature just reuse assets like that? <laughs> lazy, lazy game devs just reusing things, just flipping it upside down. No one will notice. All right, this is the final match of today. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a a loss. Because we're the middle team. There's no way that we can win this. It's actually impossible for the middle team to win. It's not because I'm bad. It's because the game is bad. Just kidding. Oh, we are protecting the Ultra Signal. A lot. Maybe we can actually win this. Look at that, I splatted someone. Entirely by accident. Use my special. Two guys. They're both filter feeders. Flamingo? Oh no. I think at the moment we're still winning though. That's pretty cool. 40 42 percent. 40 percent. Gonna go for it. You can't. Oh look, I saved. I still got him. Welcome, Sarah Dogs. Egg. Exactly. Egg. There it is. There's the egg. Oh no, we lost the ultra signal. Is it even possible to kill someone when they're in crab form? No, you can't. I've definitely seen it. I've seen it done. Uh, but somehow we're still winning. Probably not for long, but for now we're still winning. Okay, but there's no way- okay, now we're losing. <laughs> okay, crabs from my- I did not know that. I had no idea. I'm actually kind of bad at this game. That's why I'm using this weapon. Because it requires no skill. I'll use my special on one guy. No, okay. No, we're still winning. Look at that, 36%. Uh, the purple is going up pretty quickly. Just have to, just have to ink. Just, uh, just keep inking. That's all. That's all you need. Never mind. No, we we won. We got this one. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, look at that. There's so much orange. Let's go. Splatoon is a weird version of Picross where all the numbers are 10. Is this assuming a 10 by 10 board? Okay, well that's the last one. It's the final match of all time. That's almost 10,000 clout. 
All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Let me actually. Okay, hold on. All right. Let's see. Let's see what today is. And find someone to raid. It was the Harlem Globetrotters Day. Not gonna take it any more day. It's also the New Year. National Pass Gas Day. Ooh, National Temporal Day. That's good. Wow, <laughs> old rock day. Mirkern is eyeing the pass gas. Okay, National Temporal Day raid. That one. National Temporal Day raid. Now, let's see who to raid. Check in that twitch.tv. Had meatloaf for dinner and give me an idea for meatloaf tempura. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, there's several people streaming. Let's see, let's see. We can raid Aster Sola. She never streams at this time. What is she doing? She's eating. Just chatting stream with eating, I guess. That's cool. She normally does singing, but... Anyway, we're gonna raid. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back on Monday with uh, Mario Picross. Tuesday we'll find some other game to play, I'm not exactly sure which one. I will play some sort of video game on Tuesday. Wednesday we got the fishing, Thursday we got Dark Souls, Friday we got Kimono Friends Picross. Saturday I'll find some other thing to do. Also welcome Toaster and goodbye. I don't know, I don't know what I'll play on Tuesday. Something, something will be played on Tuesday. Some sort of video game. Of some sort. Yeah, thanks stream. Thanks to the stream. Thanks to the the pixels. Been playing Picross. Good. Good. It's a good game. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you, viewers. Without the viewers, I would be nothing. This stream would not even exist. Well, it would still exist, but it wouldn't. It would kind of. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Goodbye.